I guess this is a part of the experience, like the mess ups. And hopefully I won't do this again. I want to cry. I just realized I've been making this design backwards. I've been making it backwards. The V is supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be mirrored. I went to go on the other side and I'm like, this shit don't look right. Thank God I didn't do the whole thing, but the fact that I've wasted that much time putting this on the fucking frame, like this is the worst part. And this is a commission rug, so now I'm like two days behind on it. I guess this is the fun things with business time. And now I've used up all the yellow yarn damn near because I'm filling it up well. And I just know this. I'm a little hurt. I don't know what to do. I just gotta stop before I get too aggravated because I have anger problems. And just to figure out, I knew, I knew something wasn't sitting right i tried to adjust the image to fit on my frame and apparently when you rotate the image it might do other shit i don't know i'm just trying my hardest not to like punch the wood i just wasted like two days of work okay so i made up my mind i am going to chunk this this is why I love that I use scrap fabric sometimes, even though this is primary tufting cloth. It came with my gun that I had purchased a, few, a little bit back, so I'm not too pissed about it. Okay, I'm pretty pissed because I wasted my time, like I said, with all this shit. But um, I decided to scrap it. Obviously, I can't do nothing with the yarn, so... I'm gonna chunk it and then I'm gonna get up another frame and I'm just gonna do the other color and then I'm gonna have to go get more yellow yarn so that put me like I don't know probably like 15 bucks 20 bucks out of yarn well plus the fabric cost which is probably like seven dollars I don't know so I didn't pay for the fabric thank god but I'm just so hurt because now I gotta cut this down find another piece which I have enough to do a whole frame, but I don't want to waste a full piece because I only have this custom technically. So, I just want to cry low key. I just, I don't know how to explain the frustration behind this. We're going to keep pushing though. So, that's the game plan. I'm going to record it because I guess this is a part of the experience, like the mess ups. And hopefully I won't do this again. Because if I do, I'm going to go eat shit. So I'm going to go some, take a smoke break. Um, I'm going to beat your mother. What the fuck is you doing? Bro. Uh, you stop fucking with shit. God. I'm going to go take a smoke break. And then I'm going to come back and figure this shit the fuck out. And it's, it's not due to, you know, just an unfortunate health situation that happened. Like, this is due to stupid, yeah, like, shootings. Or, yeah, and car accidents. Between getting shot, a car accident, I mean, you're, 
you're more likely to die from that than cancer. And people think cancer is what's taking everybody out. And it's like, no. Nah. Exactly. These young kids is dying of, I mean, really gunshot wounds, drugs, especially fentanyl. Like, it's scary. Yeah. That's what's, the, yeah, that's the, definitely a crisis and pandemic we're going through with fentanyl. It's crazy. I'm like, it's man-made and we, we can't even figure out how to stop it. It's man-made and we cannot figure it out. Gots to be joking me, big dog. You got to be joking me. I'm like, how we make something and we can't stop it from getting manufactured and made anymore? Oh, because we're not willing to stop making it. Gotcha. Gotcha.